last night's feature winner from Watertown, Connecticut in the Jonestown KOA Weigert's Livestock, Sage Family Buck Walter Trucking LLC, JRC Transportation number 41, it's David Gravel. David Gravel on the clock in car number 41. Last night's victory, the sixth of his career here at the Williams Grove Speedway. Also picked up an outlaw win back in May. 2017 National Open winner lap number one for David Gravel is a 16-9-0-9-1-6-9-0-9 at 109.007 miles per hour. Gravel currently third in the outlaw point standing. Second lap time is a 16.917. First lap faster by six one thousandths of a second at a 16.909. Lawrence Chevrolet pace truck is in, the green flag is out. And Sweet is into the lead. The big cat on the top of the speedway, Geo Selzy just underneath the cushion. Sweet's got the momentum, Selzy runs second, and now closing on Selzy, the Steel City outlaw, Tim Schaefer. Schaefer rides the middle into turn three, gets to the cushion, Selzy up to the cushion as well. Car slowing on the top of turn four, it's TJ Stutz in car number 11. The caution flag will wave, and we'll try it all over again. So again, we see the green flag to start. Tried in heat race number six. They drag race down the front straightaway again. Brad Sweet grabs the lead again. Geo goes to the bottom in one and two. Can't make it work there. Now challenged on the top. And Brent Marks gets into the second spot as they race out of turn number two. Marks from the fifth starting spot up to second. We can see the checkered flag now, and Brad Sweet has won Dry Dean heat race number six. He is in the dash along with second place finisher, Brent. <laughs> Got his helmet off. Still sitting in the race car. He'll be out momentarily. Climbing out of the car now, in fact. I'll grab her. Hang on. Ladies and gentlemen, Brent Marks. Well, I have no idea. This is uh, this is amazing. Um, been wanting to win this race for a very long time. I grew up here in the infield, uh, you know, and this is uh, where I fell in love with sprint car racing. And uh, this is awesome. Uh, what did it pay? Sixty-five. Sixty-five. Sixty-five grand. That's awesome. I can't. I can't believe that. Uh, Wow. Um, I'll bet as you're nearing the end of a long and rather frustrating season at times, that 65,000 sounds very good. It's been a really frustrating season. Uh, we've, we've had some good runs. I gave up a few wins this year, I felt, and I didn't give up this one tonight. So uh, I tried to play as smart as I could all race, and uh, I knew at some point, you know, it was going to move to the bottom. I just didn't know quite when. And when I got back by uh, Brian there um, on the bottom three and four, I, I figured, you know, that was the way to go down there. But just waiting on one and two to try to figure out what that was going to do, that was that was a tricky part. But uh, luckily I had some lap cars to help me out there. But, uh, man, this is, uh, this is unreal. I, I, I can't believe we just won the National Open. Well, you sure did. And in an impressive fashion, you were good in traffic, but your restarts were outstanding. You were pulling away from the field on restarts. Yeah, well, the first the first two restarts weren't so good for me. I lost the I lost the lead there to Brian, and then I lost the lead to Darren. And just luckily, the yellow came out. Um, I was able to get that spot back. But um, after that, I figured I needed to change up, you know, where I started and 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 how I started and the type of line I took. And uh, you know, it, it panned off. And uh, you know, I had my guys help me out there under under that red flag to help me figure that out too. So um, I'm super proud of Jesse and Dallas. You know, they they work extremely hard for me, and they put in. Uh, this the, the 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 time and the effort and uh, the long hours that it takes to be out here on the road and uh, being away from family and and just being away from home in general. Uh, you know I can't thank them enough and I uh, just uh, I can't thank my parents enough. My my wife Megan, um, my first uh, first outlaw win with them being here and my uh, daughter McKenna being here too. So uh, that's that's really special for me and um, man this is uh, this is just unreal and I got such great supporters on this race car and um, you know I can't thank them enough. Uh, M&M Painting Construction, Baps Auto Paint Supply, Fredericksburg Eagle Hotel, Wolf Run Landscapes, um, uh, Russell Heller Builder, and High Performance Lubrication, Maxim Chassis, FK Shocks, uh, just uh, uh, everybody that helps me put this deal together and be out here on the road full time. And um, being out here, 
you know, it teaches me a lot and taught me how to win this race tonight. So uh, we never give up with this team, and uh, we're just always, you know, always looking forward. You know, we had a terrible night last night and just woke up this morning, and, and it was just a new day. Try to get over it and move on and try to be better tonight, and we were. You got a caution flag just when it looked like you were going to be home free. What was going through your mind under caution there with a green-white checker situation coming up? Well, I, that was a tough situation for me because I was held up behind those lap cars and, you know, we're all running the bottom there and my pace slowed way down and uh, I, I had no idea how close Darren was to me. And, uh, you know, it's just, uh, I was, I don't know, I was a little worried there, you know, because you just slip up and make one mistake. That just opens the door for, for, some, for the second place guy to uh, get by us. So that was a situation where, you know, second places could have been, you know, better than, than, than leading the race. But, uh, had that, yeah, had that yellow, and I was a little worried with our tire wear. You can see they're pretty bald, and um, I just tried to be easy there on the last uh, last couple laps. And if they were going to pass me, they would have to be outside the rubber there and go around me on the outside. But uh, fortunate enough that uh, they weren't able to do that, and uh, well, here we are, staying in victory lane. And you can be home to celebrate the biggest win of your career. Yeah, that's awesome too. You know, we're uh, we're home. We can go, we can go uh, um, celebrate tonight and tomorrow, and. Uh, all week, and uh, it's just great, you know, and the best part about it, we don't have to race tomorrow, so we can, we can do all the celebrating we want. Ladies and gentlemen, the Myerstown Missile, Brent Marks.